Hi friends, Sarah here with Faithful Finish Lines. Today I've got a super helpful, helpful weight loss hack for you, a little bit of a mental change your thinking hack, and then I've got a really exciting announcement. So make sure you stay to the end to see what I've got to talk about. Okay, have you ever found yourself saying, oh, I'll get back on track tomorrow. This one time of eating it is not that bad. If so, this is for you. So um, let's say you have planned out what you're gonna eat for the day, you've got lots of healthy choices, and then it comes to dinner time and your husband's like, let's just order a pizza. And the kids are like, yeah, 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 pizza, pizza. So you think to yourself, gosh, you know, it's been a really long day, I'm tired, um, I don't wanna have to do the dishes, pizza's delicious, I'll just get back on track tomorrow. Have you ever said that to yourself? I know I certainly have. Sometimes the same way of thinking can even stretch out over days or weeks or months. Have you ever said to yourself, well, I'll get back to counting calories or points on Monday. I'll get back into it on Monday. I'm not gonna worry about it over the weekend. I'll get back to it on Monday. Or sometimes we'll even say, well, I'll get back into healthier choices this fall. I have so much going on right now, it's just too much to even think about. If so, the reality is it's really important that you make those healthy choices today. It sounds really good to say I'll get back into it tomorrow, but none of us is guaranteed tomorrow. You don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, but you do have control over today. In Joshua, um, the Bible, he says, choose for this day who you will serve, but as for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. When I think about that, I think about choose this day we're not talking about choose tomorrow or choose next week or choose this fall. Choose this day. I have today and it's time for me to make healthy choices today. The town where I was growing up had a bar and at this bar there was a huge neon sign that said free beer tomorrow. <laughs> now if it always says free beer tomorrow then that means if you come for free beer the next day the sign is going to say free beer tomorrow. And then the next day it says free beer tomorrow. So what does that really mean? That really means you're never getting any free beer. Well, sometimes it's the same way with us. We say, well, I'll get back on track tomorrow. It's not that bad, it's not that big of a deal. But it is a big deal because if each day we say, oh, I'll just get back on track tomorrow, we're really never gonna get back on track and we're never gonna move toward making that lasting progress, which is what you want, especially if your goal is to lose weight and get to your goal weight. You'll have to make that your priority, not tomorrow, but today. So I have a two-step action plan for you. The next time you find yourself saying, oh, you know, this one time won't hurt, I'll get back on track tomorrow, this is what I want you to do. Step one, I want you to ask yourself, Am I really saying free beer tomorrow? <laughs> now it doesn't really matter whether you drink beer or not. The point is to laugh a little bit, make it a joke for yourself because that will kick you out of that denial that you're in. So ask yourself, am I really saying free beer tomorrow? That's step one. Then step two is to say, I am choosing to and fill in the blank with the behavior that you're making. That might seem like a small thing, but it's a big deal because again, that's moving you out of denial and you are making a conscious decision that today I am making a choice that will not move me further on my weight loss journey or to my weight loss goal. Now that's not saying you can't eat pizza or that you can't go off your plan. You're an adult and you can do that, but I want you to do it very consciously, very aware. So there's your two-step strategy. Step one is to ask yourself and have a little fun with this. Am I really saying no, you know, no beer, free beer tomorrow? That's one. And then two is you're gonna say, I am choosing to. I am choosing to eat pizza, which is not on my plan. I am choosing not to count calories. I am choosing to not count points. I am choosing not to eat whole foods or whatever that is for you that you've already decided will move you forward with your weight loss. So there's your weight loss hack for today. Next time you think to yourself, oh, I'll get back into it tomorrow, I want you to stop. Think about that two-step action strategy. Now, I also told you that I have an exciting announcement for you and I definitely do. 
My partner, my business partner, Becky, and I run a program called Faithful Finish Lines. I know that many of you are familiar with it. Faithful Finish Lines is a Christian women's online weight loss program. We have a number of freed and free and paid courses, and our signature course is called Seven Weeks to Christian Weight Loss, Healthy Eating, and Fitness. And several times during the year, we would guide women through the program together in what we called premium support. Now this has been a really exciting time. I've gone through really quite a few seven week programs now and we always learn so much. The women grow in faith, but we had to take a little step back and recognize that while women were losing weight, we really thought that there were other things we could offer to help them really lose even more weight and grow even more in faith and be um, given all the strategies that they need to get to their goal weight. So Becky and I have been working, working, working hard behind the scenes and we've created a new program. In fact, it's so new, it doesn't even have a name, but I was so excited about it that I wanted to share it with you. The outline for the program looks like this. And I'm gonna be sharing that with you. You might have already seen it starting to go around Facebook. And the different colors are for the different stages of the new program. I'm gonna tell you all about the different stages. But first, I wanna let you in just a little bit more behind the scenes and let you know that for the last month, we have been taking 14 women through a beta test, which is a practice test, a part of this program. And you guys, it is amazing. We have been blown away by their results. There were 14 of us in the program, and over the course of four weeks, as a group, we lost over 44 pounds, which is amazing. And the women are continuing to follow the guidelines that we gave them and continuing to lose weight. So we are absolutely thrilled. We feel so strongly that God has guided us in this direction, and we're just going to continue to see amazing results. Now we don't have everything figured out like a name, but uh, here's some things that I can tell you. We are expecting that the program will begin on September 15th of 2019 and go forward from there. We will have times that enrollment is open and then times that it's closed so that we can really serve our members best. We're expecting this to be a membership type model, so there will be a monthly investment for as long as you are a member. Now I mentioned there are 10 stages. Each stage we're expecting, oh, to take about a month. The program is self-guided. So if you want to spend longer in a stage, you absolutely can. If you want to go back and repeat a stage, you absolutely can. This is designed so that you can have the maximum success for what is right for you. And we know that that is going to work out really, really well. Okay, so here are the 10 stages. Now I also wanna say that uh, before we started designing this program, Becky and I sat down. Now between us, we've lost over 200 pounds and we've been keeping it off for years and years. And we said, okay, what are the foundational principles that we know work for lasting weight loss and are completely not only in line with the scriptures and with the Bible, but are using God's power to do this thing and will help people grow in faith. So we came up with foundational principles, and I'll be able to share those with you, that um, that we use to guide all of our programs. And then we sat down with this program specifically and said, what is going to get women to their goal weight and help them stay there. And I should mention too, while I'm thinking about it, the program will definitely have a maintenance phase. So once you finish the 10 stages, that doesn't mean you're done by any means, we'll continue to offer you support for as long as you wanna be a part of the program, which we hope is a really long time. So stage one is called prepare to begin. Now this stage is an exception, it's actually pretty short. It's only about a week long. And this is just getting you used to the program, letting you know the basic guidelines. Stage two is called lay the foundation. In this stage, you will learn the foundational principles of how you can lose weight and how you can actually make it work in real life. And these are basic core beliefs that we know work. So this is what we've been going through right now with the beta group, and it's been really exciting to see how well these are working for these women. And this will be a little bit longer stage. It might only be a month or it might take you a little bit longer because we really wanna make sure you get these, um, these core guidelines down. 
Then the next stage is build your healthy plate. And this is where you're gonna learn some super practical strategies of how to create a healthy plate. What are the right portion sizes? What types of food? A healthy pantry? How to go grocery shopping? How to meal plan? all the stuff that you need for each meal to be exactly what it needs to be for you to meet your weight loss goals. Then stage four is um, no biblical truth. This is for me an exciting stage. This is where we are going to um, really give a deep dive into how to use the Bible to guide you as you are losing weight. You will learn some practical strategies. How do I use scripture in my everyday life for weight loss? How do I use prayer in my everyday for life for weight loss? We'll talk about um, attending church, daily devotions. And then at the end of that stage, you also will have a really firm grasp on the fruits of the spirit and what that has to do with your weight loss journey. So I'm, I'm extra excited about that one. The next stage is called conquer emotional eating. Now this is another big one and you might spend a good amount of time here and that's okay. In this stage, you will learn how to stop eating for emotional reasons, how to stop food cravings, how to stop binge eating, um, how to really get a handle on emotional eating. Because I think for many of us, especially those of us who have a lot of weight to lose, the truth is no matter what diet we do, if we can't get a handle on emotional eating, we're never going to be successful. So this stage is gonna teach you incredible things. It won't necessarily be easy, but I'm here to tell you that as someone who's a former binge eater, compulsive overeater, if I can do it, you can do it too. You definitely can learn the skills to stop emotional eating. Then the next stage is called creating community. Weight loss happens in community, and especially as Christian people, we are called to um, support one another, love one another, to live in community. So that's what you'll learn about. How do I live with my family, with work parties, with you know my extended family? How do I manage all those things while I lose weight? So we will teach you the skills of exactly how to do that, how to manage your weight loss in the middle of real life. The next stage is called exercise for life. Now I wanna point something out to you that this is stage seven, and if each stage takes about a month, um, you know, we're six to seven months into the program before I'm even, even really teaching you about exercise. And there's a reason for that. We absolutely want you to exercise. We have a Faithful Fitness program here at Faithful Finish Lines. If you haven't checked it out yet, you gotta check it out. You can try it for only a dollar. And we also have a free five-day challenge that is just completely free that you can try. So we're big fans of fitness. We believe that it's good for your body and that it's what God intended. But it doesn't have that much impact on weight loss. Sometimes in the media or in different things we see, you know, we get the idea if I just, you know, do this beach body CrossFit super hard exercise, I can lose weight. But the reality is weight loss comes from a healthy plate, from a healthy diet and from not overeating. So we are going to talk about exercise, but it's way in stage seven. And at the end of that stage, first of all, you'll learn about healthy movement and exercise for you. And you'll also learn about how to worship God as you move your body. Stage um, eight is eat real food. So um, again, this isn't at the beginning of the program. This is after you've been working through the program for a while. At the beginning, we just want you to get the basics down so that you can start losing weight right away. But by this stage, you've been doing this for a while and we wanna talk about how can we make the majority or even all of our diet real, clean, whole foods as God intended because we do believe that that is the way to optimal health. So we'll talk about um, how to cut out and reduce sugar. Um, what about things like artificial sweeteners or you know, kind of fake foods or junk foods? We'll talk about all that, and at the end of that stage, you will have created a plan that is exactly right for you. Then um, stage nine is balanced life. 
This is kind of a fun one for me. This is some of those more logistical kind of things that are really, because by this stage, you've lost a lot of weight and you are moving, you're moving closer to maintenance. You're at least looking at it. So we're going to talk about some of those practical strategies to incorporate these weight loss techniques for a lifetime. We're going to make this last. Our goal is not for you to lose weight and then gain it back. Our goal is to teach you what you need to know to keep the weight off for the rest of your life. And again, I would say Becky has done it. I've done it. We feel completely confident that the strategies we are teaching you will work. If you do what we teach you, you will get to your goal weight and you will be able to maintain it. Finally, the last stage is called live the sacrifice. This is a beautiful, beautiful stage, a beautiful thought where we, um, we really picture um, that these goals are important. We want to be healthy. We, on, we want to honor God with our bodies. But ultimately, being at our goal weight is not the end result. Heaven is what we're really looking forward to. So in this stage, we're going to talk about heaven, which I, I already can't wait to get there. I'm excited for women to get to this stage because doesn't it feel amazing to talk about heaven? Heaven is our home. So in this stage, we'll talk about how you really can live the sacrifice for God, to God, on a regular basis. That's sometimes giving up what you love in the moment for what you love more. And all of the aspects that come from living as people who know that heaven is their home. So those are the 10 stages. That is the new program. I'm sure that you are excited. Becky and I are extremely excited. Our beta members are excited. And as I mentioned, there will be lots of support for you along the way with um, we're going to have live coaching calls, a Facebook group that's really interactive, plenty of accountability because we know that accountability is very important. The, um, the course will also be clearly laid out. We have some really fun bonuses that you'll unlock along the way as we go. So I know that that's, we're a little bit rough draft still. We don't have everything finalized, but I'm just so excited to share it with you. And I can't wait until September already. I'm excited for when we get started. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention is that we are going to start sharing with you. Um, we're going to start sharing some of this good stuff right away. This is too good to just keep it to ourselves. So don't feel like, oh, I have to wait until September. We're going to already start sharing some of the techniques that we're using that we are seeing are working so well. So we'll be sharing some of those in our Christian Weight Loss Facebook group, on our own personal Facebook pages. Mine is The Holy Mess. Becky's is So Very Blessed. We have a page for Faithful Finish Lines. We'll even be sharing some things on our blog. So I just want you to be on the lookout and recognize, now we're not gonna share all of it because we really wanna reserve that for our members who are investing. And because our members are investing, we're investing in them. They're gonna be our top people. You're gonna get all the best stuff. But we'll definitely share some stuff with you along the way as we're looking forward to September. Okay, um, I am so excited about our new program. That's the big announcement. If you remember from the beginning of the video, you've got that great, really helpful strategy. The next time you say to yourself, well, you know, this one time won't hurt. I'll just, you know, get started again tomorrow. I want you to think back to the two action steps, which were number one, ask yourself, am I really saying free beer tomorrow? And number two, say to yourself, I am choosing to engage in this behavior. Just by doing those two things, you'll become conscious and aware and able to make a better decision about is this moving you closer to your weight loss goal or keeping you stuck where you are. I'm Sarah with Faithful Finish Lines. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.